So here's another great new feature in Evodo. This deals with the backdrop changer. Before, in order to keep the shadows, we would go into backdrop changer. Let's use this gradient one here. You'll notice that all the shadows are now missing. What we used to have to do is go to backdrop changer and lower the opacity of the new backdrop. It starts to bring out the shadows, but notice that it also lightens the backdrop. We wanted that blue gradient. So Evoto added a new add shadow function. Let's start at the top where you have a soft shadow, a hard shadow, and a drop shadow. The soft and hard will add a shadow on the ground. Let me show you. The difference between the soft and hard deals with the sliders underneath. They are presets for these three sliders. You have your opacity, your shadow blur, and your gradient. You'll notice how they change when I go between soft and hard. Soft being 40% opacity, a lot of shadow blur, and a gradient. Where hard also is 40% opacity, no shadow blur, no gradient. You can see this hard shadow here. Underneath that, you have the blend mode. You have normal, overlay, and soft. These deal with contrast and can be a little confusing to understand. Just know this, when you're using a white backdrop change, because of the blend mode, the soft light will not show up. So you need to be in overlay or normal. Let's go back to the blue. Let me also now show you the drop shadow. That takes the image, kind of reproduces it in the background and adds a shadow in the back. But in this case, we're gonna start with either the soft or the hard shadow. Keep in mind, they're both the same other than the presets underneath. Let's start with the soft shadow. I'll raise the opacity a bit. Something to notice is the shadows are always left to right. But here's something to be aware of. By lowering the opacity, we can see that the shadow actually is right to left. Let's bring the opacity back up. Here we have an adjustment tool for the shadow. Let's click on that. Here you'll see the settings for the shadow. Let's play around with these so you can see what they do. The horizon moves the shadow left to right. Shadow distance will move the shadow around your subject. Let me show you that. So that was right to left, now it's left to right. The shadow angle would be the shadow that a light would create based on where it's related to the subject. Imagine if I had my light here and I was hitting the subject here, I wouldn't want my shadow angle down. If I had the light below the subject, I might want to raise the shadow up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to play around with these shadows until we get them to where we want them. Remember before the shadow is here on the left and right. I'm going to bring the shadow over to the left. I'm going to bring the shadow angle down to the ground. There was a light creating a shadow here. Now we also have anchor points, as you can see, left and right. You can show the anchor points or remove the anchor points. Here I want to see them. I want to now adjust the shadow so that it fits the image better, just the anchor point. Once I have this set, I'm going to hit OK. Again, I'm going to go back to my original opacity and check if I got the shadow to kind of match the original, which is going this way. If I need to adjust it from here, I can. I might even want to raise it up a little bit. So now let's leave the opacity down a bit and then go back to the masking. Now we can see both the original shadow and the new shadow. And again, we can adjust the shadow based on where our original shadow is. I'm kind of okay with this. Remember, this is a drop shadow. It's not going to be perfect. You just need to play around with it to get a decent looking shadow. I'm going to hit OK. Pass it back up. And there's our before and our after. Now let's look at the drop shadow. The drop shadow, again, will take this image and create a shadow behind it. So we need to now change the backdrop color. This is the original image. Let's select gray, and then we'll do a drop shadow. If you notice in the original image, there is actually no shadow, but let's say I want one because maybe it looks better. Again, we need to adjust the shadow because it's a little too high. So let's go into the adjustment section. I want to bring this down a bit. So that's the vertical. I also want to move it over to the right a bit. 
hit OK. So I'm going to blur the shadow a bit more. And there's my before and my after. Take your time to create a shadow that you're happy with.